Hello there friends, welcome back to another video on paying it forward. It's been a little while since I made a video like this one, so uh, I've been waiting to share something pretty cool. Um, and I found something really cool this week that I thought was just too good not to share. Uh, so let's get into it. So when it comes to building solutions inside of Power Platform, um, often when you're building flows, for example, uh, particularly in Power Automate, um, you know, documenting all of the steps within the flow and making it clear and easy to understand and readable for people can be a bit of a time, uh, let's say it can create a lot of time because you have to kind of look through the flow and make sure that you review it, that you know each step and understand it, what does it do. Um, and, you know, I'm someone who, when it comes to writing something uh, for documentation purposes, starting the writing in the beginning is the hardest part. So, uh, um, uh, finding a way to accelerate that can be pretty cool. So, um, what I discovered this week was a way of doing that, which I'm going to show you now. All right. So first of all, this is a, a solution that I'm currently working on inside of Microsoft, uh, which has got 108 different, um, com objects within it. And of that, there's 19 cloud flows. So when it comes to going into production, which will happen very soon, um, you know, providing documentation on all these cloud flows so that they're easy for to be maintained so that people can understand uh, for you know quite some time after the uh, application has gone into production can be a really important step in kind of creating that experience of uh, you know maintaining and engineering the work that you've done uh, but then when it comes to actually opening those cloud flows and doing all of that work it can also take a lot of time uh, to do all of that documentation so how am i going to speed this up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the overview of the solution. And what you can do here is you can export the uh, file. Um, I exported one earlier, which I've got here in my download files, um, which I'm going to open over here. Um, and inside of the zip file, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. You can basically see here that there is actually a section which is called workflows. And in the workflows section, this is where all of the Power Automate uh, flows are. Um, so to be able to view uh, the content of the uh, workflows or Power Automate flows here, I'm going to open this inside of Visual Studio Code. All right, so we're in VS Code. We can now see the solution with all of the corresponding uh, different files over here at the top uh, in the various different folders. Um, and we can now open the workflows and see all of the different uh, flows that are available here. So what I'm going to do, or what I kind of, what my first approach to this was, was I was thinking, um, you know, this was prompted by a colleague inside of Microsoft. They were like, you know, use GitHub Copilot. So I selected the, the code, I hit Control I, and then I asked GitHub Copilot to explain the code to me. Uh, but for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to like that and it never worked. So it seems to misunderstand, it can't seem to find the file. Um, so I was asking myself, is there an another approach to doing this? And of course, there is always another approach to doing things, and that's using ChatGPT. Um, so what I did is I took this uh, um, manifest that I have here of the flow, and then I'm going to open ChatGPT. All right, so I've come into ChatGPT, and I'm going to write a prompt. All right, so the format of the flow that I've put together is using the manif using Power Automate flow below. I want you to help to create documentation of the flow manifest. Please highlight in the documentation specifically the title, the executive description, and the trigger. Can I let it run? All right, so uh, it's generated the uh, documentation. Let's bring it over into Word so we can have a little look. Uh, it's sometimes a little bit easier to read. All right, and I'm going to paste it into Word. Um, and then we can see here we've got the documentation for the BPF change notifier. We've got an overview. Um, it's designed to monitor changes in the business process flows um, and communicate these changes to relevant stakeholders via Teams. Um, it triggers upon an addition, modification, or deletion of rows in the BPF entry, processes the relevant data as done in the current state, and finally it notifies a specific team or channel in Teams about the change. Um, which is what it does, which is great. So then we have the trigger, um, which is when a row is modified. Um, it uses a webhook, listens for any changes in the CAD request BPF table. Um, and um, then we can see that it has here the initialization of the variables, the main processing and the tri-steps. 
Um, and then the, finally the switch case, which it's even understood what are the two um, cases that we've defined in the switch that are used to you know route the communication based on which of the business process flow uh, are selected. So it's already given us a really great starting point uh, for being able to document our flow, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but this looks like beginner's luck, so let's give it a go on something else. Uh, so we've got another um, you know, um, flow here, which is the legal agreement flow. So let's try and do it for that one. All right, so uh, this flow has uh, finished as well. Having a quick look at the news. Um, and we'll put this into the Word file as well. All right, and it's in the Word file and we have the uh, same thing, ex executive description again. This flows uh, automate the creation and management of legal agreements. Um, and it talks here about uh, listing the rows, determining the contract type, creating a new legal agreement, um, and then um, sending a confirmation of that uh, back to the team. So a really cool um, you know, approach here for us to be able to document flows in Power Automate. Uh, I have to find, say, when I first figured it out, I was like, well, this is going to help me a lot. Um, and if you imagine in this particular solution, um, it's going to uh, save me a ton of time because I only have uh, 17 flows left now to uh, document. Um, and rather than being stuck in that moment of, uh, you know, having to remember uh, what I needed to do or uh, just start writing documentation, um, I can get the information um, already started by using AI to help with that. So let's quickly summarize what we've learned today. So when you're working with uh, a solution in Power Platform, often when it comes to making documentation of that, it can be a bit of a chore. Um, so one of the things that I discovered this week was the ability to be able to use the export files to help generate documentation from the actual, you know, the um, JSON manifests of the Power Automate flows. Um, this helps us incredibly because we're able to, you know, uh, speed up the time it takes for us to uh, create documentation, but also to formulate uh, and give it the focus it needs so that the maintainability of the application can be high uh, moving forward. So thanks for all of you who've come to watch this uh, pretty short video this week. Um, I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Um, Road to 200 is almost there. I think we're one or two subscribers away. Uh, so make sure that's you who's the 200th subscriber. Um, and I look forward to sharing another video with you very soon. Have a great week and don't forget to pay it forward.